What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode here on Torque Drift. Today, we are going to rebirth the 2J powered custom S14. We have a new livery and everything on it, got some new parts on it. We are rocking a full custom 2J under the hood, and uh, we're going to take it sideways today, get some tandems, and have a little fun bringing this car back. If you guys remember, I did run the S14 for the longest time, but uh, we're going to accept my sponsorship first, get a little extra money going, a little extra money flowing. And uh, we'll go take a look at the S14 with a new livery on it. A little bit of a blue, white, and black, little tear livery with a white hood. You know, we got Evil Rabbit, Torque Drift, Energy Innovations, of course, on this car. So like I said, we are rocking 1,384 horsepower, and we are full custom, except for the turbo and the clutch. Haven't bought a custom turbo and clutch yet. Looking for that. Maybe doing a supercharger, but it's a 2J. So, uh, of course, we're going to keep the turbo on that 2JZ. 2JZ for Americans. 2JZ for other parts of the country. Let's see, do we have any new custom parts? We could put a custom supercharger on it. But, like I said, we're going to keep the turbo on there. So, like I said, full custom. And uh, we're going to go send it. Enough chalk. Let's get into some tandems. Let's see, what do we got? We got uh, Ocean's Drive. We have, we've already done that. We have Ocean's Drive, FD Special, we got Reverse Reticle, and we got Long Line. So, let's go run the FD Special, because we have some bonus money to play, and uh, see how this works. This car is definitely very fun in 4th and 5th gear. You can do a 5th gear start, and uh, hold 5th gear and power. So, we're probably going to run into 5th gear, 1,383 horsepower, custom rarity, S14, bringing it back to the channel. Looks like we're going up against... Uh, a uh, S15 with about 900 horse. So like I said, we're going to kick this thing straight into fifth gear. Looks like we're starting a little bit further back than we used to. So we're going to kick it, flick it in, hard flick. We missed both of those clips, so we're just going to stay wide out throttle as much as we can there and just try and get as many points as we can. I do miss this S14 a lot, so we're going to do a quick Switch back flick. Try and run that over the bump. Hold that out so we can try and get these outer ones. We did miss that. I haven't run this FD special in a very long time, but still a decent run to start. We got 78 to this man's 91. So I thought it was a good uh, good run, but we're gonna have to do some massive mud chase. But would hit those clips probably would have been better. So uh, we're gonna. He's rocking a blue and white livery too. Blue and white gang right now. Little quick tap of the handbrake that kind of screwed up. We're taking the we're taking the entry sign with us. We're gonna try and not do that. We're gonna try and get as much tandem as we can. Maybe win this in the chase. It's kind of almost uh kind of cool to see like liveries rocking right now. Oh, kind of straightened up there. Did not expect him to go that much angle. This is not my best chase run, so maybe we will get a chance to uh, retry that against him. We will not. He just left, and we were so close to be beating him. That's unfortunate. Well, we're going to try it again. Like I said, this is one of my first cars that I used to run in the game. I did take the crazy aggressive wing off of it and went back to the very mild uh, body kit, but... uh do like it a little, little tear livery to change it up you guys remember it was white and uh ooh, 1242 horsepower s13 that should be good we're gonna try and make sure we get all those clips but if you guys remember it was white with some uh triangle style graphics in the back prior we switched it up to this newer style livery kind of close to the livery that i'm running in my s14 on uh forza Trying to get as many of those clip points as we can so that we keep our multiplier up there. Oh, I didn't think I was actually going to make that. Let me hold this out. Really hard on the angle towards the end. Nicely thrown in at the end. That'll be over a 100 point run. 104 to the man's 44. So. Definitely loving the feel of my S14 again. Definitely be bringing it to some live streams here coming probably next week. Hopefully I'll be doing some live streams 
Been a little bit lacking on the live stream department, but had a lot going on recently. I thought he was going to initiate sooner. So we're just going to have to throw it in after. Oh, wow. Very, uh, very different line to be approached by this man. Tap his back bumper. Throw it in, kind of get close, lay off so that we can transition. Trying to stay as close as we can. It's kind of a smoke show with these two cars. Massive angle by him towards the end, but we are going to be able to probably take that win with uh, the advantage in our lead. And like I said, we did 133 to 58 here on the FD Special. So we're going to probably run this one more time and then we're going to switch up tracks and uh, send it at another track and uh, maybe um, the slab. Always a good track to go to. Versus medical. I haven't run that with this S14 in a very long time, so it'll be fun to do it. Ooh. Looks like we're going up against an FD car on the FD special. So let's see how we can uh, how we can go. We're gonna flick in. Try to get as many of those crucial points in the beginning. We did miss those. So now I gotta make sure I get all these other ones. Gonna cut this short. Make sure we get all that. Do a little quick flick, but we didn't flick soon enough. This is not a good run for linking of all these uh, points. Managing the bump somewhat decent. And brought it out towards the end. Apparently we're getting clipping zones for Clutch Masters. Apparently I haven't gotten it yet. So 55 to 77, definitely not my best lead. But apparently we're getting uh, some clipping zone points. So apparently I need to run this track more because I don't have the Clutch Master sponsorship. Well, goals. Oh, he's just gonna run a straight line entry. Okay, did not expect that, so I'm going to be way behind. So hopefully we'll get another chance to run against this man because he's just all over the place, actually. That very uh, not smooth or consistent line by any means. But each their own. Maybe we'll get a reshot and I'll be able to get a good lead. But that was a very um, weird way to start that run. And yeah, no, we're not going to take that win because of that. Did not expect him to go straight. So I initiated sooner and uh, got thrown offline. So we're going to run this one more time. I know I said that was the last one, but I want to run it again. Get some more of that Clutch Master sponsorship credit. And also, I don't want to end on that. Looks like we're going against a very nice 1300 horsepower E30. Let's go. I got Slap Train on uh, his sponsorships. Let's uh, let's send it and see what we can come up with for the final run here at the FD section. Getting the clips, there we go. Gonna try to get every clip as possible. We missed that one. Really late transition, running the wall though. Quick flick, able to get that. We missed that first one. I don't think we're gonna be able to get these. So I hang it out and I hung it out a little bit too much and smack it a base. Into the wall we go at the end. But I feel like we can still take the win with a 10,000 point deficit. So let's see what happens. Maybe prepared for a straight line entry. So I'm not sure what kind of entry this man's gonna do. Unorthodox. That's the word I was looking for. A little unorthodox by that other driver. That's the word I was pondering in my head. So we just got to try and stay as close as we can. Maybe we'll be able to take this through the chase. Kind of straighten up by him. We did the same. Just trying to get as many points as we can. We were a little bit offline there towards the end. But did we take the win? We did not, and uh, unfortunately, was not enough. So we're gonna switch up tracks. Not my win to loss ratio. Not the greatest right here today. But bringing the S14 back, that's all that matters. So we're gonna go to the slab and uh, see how we do at the slab reverse reticle. 
to try to get that nasty wall ride on the long sweeper if possible. Or we can send ourselves into the wall. Sister Fister. Okay. Very aggressive name. So let's try and do a good entry in on that wall. Tagging the clip. Get as many clipping points as we can. Hook it back in close to that wall. Kind of double painted that, didn't want to do that. We're gonna run this out here. Would have liked to have been a lot closer to that wall, but we're just going to bring ourselves close and get all of our clipping points and finish the runoff clean with an 84, I believe. An 84 was the final 85 to a 96. So a little bit of a deficit, but I feel like we might be able to do it here and uh, come out with a W, hopefully, against that 180. Expect him to initiate sooner, but we're gonna come right on the door and get all these crucial, really close door dive points. And I'm just holding mad at throttle in fifth gear, able to stay right on this man's door. A little bit too close there. We're just running on his door. I hope that running on his door is not going to give us the loss, but that was definitely a very close chase, to say the least. And uh, we will take the win. So we're going to take a look at this replay because we were just all up on the door of this man through most of the course in that beautiful S14. Oof. And then this is where we got a little bit greasy and a little bit running up tire to tire, but we were able to make it look good. So we took the win on that one. Definitely uh, excited to take the win on that. I'm going to run one more time here at the slab before we end this episode off. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll leave you in the description box below. Make sure you guys, you know, follow me on those social media as well as like and subscribe. I do appreciate the support. Well, let's go. You guys don't have the evil rabbit sponsor let me know if you do It'd be nice to see some more evil rabbit sponsors in the game throughout the game on people's deliveries oh there we go even if you don't use the sponsor just rep the logo It'd be sweet to see more and more evil rabbit stickers on uh cars here in torque drift this is gonna be a short run I'll get as close as we can to the front of that Get as many of the close call points on the front of that one as possible. Not the best run, but we missed a few clips, but still an 81. It looks like JDM Graham is going to go in for a... ...77. to 77 for JDM Graham. Let's uh, get this thing into fifth and see what kind of chase run we can go against. This guy's 180. Oh, oh. A little bit of a... Bit of a stall at the line, or was that tactic? Because that kind of threw me off. So now we're gonna try and get in there, but I kind of got thrown off by the uh, little stall in the beginning. And okay, I wondered what took him so long to finish his run, and I'm starting to see that that. Uh, basically false start and that little uh, double flick was what did it. We didn't get too many tandem points so hopefully we can still take the win on that one. Hopefully and uh, we did not so I definitely gonna want to rematch if he's gonna let me because I felt like I got chipped and he's not gonna give me that rematch. Oh, sad he's not gonna give me the rematch that I felt like I deserved. Kind of got chipped out on that but hey it's the game no worries no hard feelings. We're gonna go one more time here at the slab to end this episode off and we're gonna get a chance to go at him again even though he didn't want to go at us again it's a little grudge match right here against JDM Graham so if you get if you're you watch the videos let me know because uh, a little grudge match against you right now so we're gonna throw it in get all those crucial uh, crucial entry wall points throw this in we're gonna try and get all the uh, crucial clipping points except we kind of hesitated 
our initiation there, but we're gonna run and get as many of those wall points as we can and throw it close to the wall. Oh, I am surprised we did not lose our points there. So that was not a good run, and uh, unfortunately I feel like we're gonna take another loss to JDM. 71, and it looks like he has a 96. So, maybe we can get a better chase and hopefully uh, come back from a deficit. The car is really quick off the start, so I'm just throwing smoke in my face. So we gotta try as many of those critical door dive points as possible. Kind of an unorthodox line. But he is just throwing smoke in my face, though. Kudos to you, man. GG, sir. 32. I don't think it's going to be enough to take the win. Maybe he'll give us another chance. If he does, we will take one more try crack at him. He just throws some nasty angle on entry. And we're not going to get a chance to do it again. But we are going to... Oh, wait. Maybe we will. You going to let me go one more time? No, you're not. Let's see if we can get him one more time. I know I keep saying one more and that's it, but you know, it's addictive. I want to get, I want to finish the episode off on a win. So who are we gonna get? It's gonna be JDM Graham. It's not. It's gonna be a very, very interesting S15 with the giant grease monkey paint. Can appreciate it. So we're just gonna throw it in. Not as high angle as other times but we are going to try and get as many of the points and close calls as we can to make sure we kind of link all of this stuff run this out getting those uh, outer wall points getting those inner wall points right on the barrier we go and that will be a better run to end this episode off but what did he get ooh 92 to 85. Decent run, so I'll try and get a decent chase to finish this off. Because, uh, like I said, I want to end this episode off on a win. But it's not going to work if I do not have throttle down. So I feel like we just totally screwed up this run. Thought I was on throttle, but apparently I was not. So we lost, I feel like, only a few critical points in the beginning, we were able to force our way back in and get points right away. Luckily, this car has some quick acceleration. And we're going to hopefully not lose because of my screw up and stalling the car basically at the light. Sleeping at the line. But we still took the win. So that'll do it here for me today on this episode here on Torque Drift. Hope you guys like the bringing back of the S14. A little bit longer of an episode for you guys as well today on Torque Drift. More Torque Drift content coming throughout the next weeks. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys next time.